Welcome back to the Gray Zone. I'm Oscar Gray. And I'm John Gray. And we're going to go over the semifinals for the Euro. Ooh, it's been a great tournament so far, hasn't it? Oh, yes. And we're down to four fantastic teams. Well, three fantastic teams. <laughs> that, that's probably true. England's looked a little rough, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Let's look at them first in the first game. The, uh, the, the second semifinal is Wednesday, July 10th. That's going to be Netherlands versus England. I picked England to win the entire thing from the very beginning. They they like, look beyond iffy. Like, like, needing a 95th minute Jude Bellingham overhead kick to send it, not win it, to send it to extra time versus Slovakia? Ooh, I had, I had a lot of money in that game. Five cents. Five cents. And uh, I was sweating. But England did, did win that game. They've won the games. They've had to win the way that they won them. Not impressive. But they're putting one foot in front of the other. I'm going to stick with them and their talent to move on to the final. And I think they might even go beyond that to win the whole thing still. Ta ta talent? Jude oh. Bellingham. He's a, he's, a, he's a pretty good player. Harry Kane, pretty good player. They haven't really shown it so far in this tournament. But I believe they're going to arrive in these last two games. And they're going to arrive strong. Going to extra time and... Versus Lovaki and going to penalties versus Swiss. I still think they're going to edge out Bailey versus the Netherlands. I think they're going to give Southgate likes to play back, and I think they're going to stick with that. And I think this game is going to PKs. But England are good at PKs, so I think they'll win. So we agree, but for different reasons. The main event. Two slobber knockers is the first game. It's on Tuesday, July 9th. I'm excited about this game. It is Spain versus France. I think... I, I, I flip-flopped. I think France is going to win the whole thing. Then I saw how they played, and it wasn't that great. Like They haven't underperformed like England, but they've underperformed based off of their... Their usual standard of excellence. I agree. And, and Spain has just been like flying through this tournament. They have looked strong. I mean, like, like, like strong, like, like stronger than me. Like Nico Schlotterbeck strong. That's strong. Yeah. So you think Spain's gonna move on? Yeah, I, I think we we both kind of underestimated them. Well, they have I, overperformed too. They they have some young players who have come up big in this tournament. Yeah, yeah. Like we were watching after the game when they played uh, uh, the in, in the round of sixteen, and we actually thought there were kids playing on the pitch because of how young they were. But they don't play young. They play like they know what they're doing. But you know what's knows who, who what they're doing. France and Mbappe, and I think Mbappe is going to be the big difference maker. I'm picking France. The man to with beat the mask. Spain. He's the phantom of the soccer pitch, and he's going to score two, in my opinion. The brace will help France move on to face England in the final. You have Spain facing yeah, England. Yeah, yeah, because they beat one of the favorites, Germany, in the quarterfinal. That's not an easy game. Not an easy game. So the question is, if you got Spain versus England, who's winning that? Spain! This is, this is, if that's the final, that's like the easiest game to tell who's going to win. Like, personally. And, and, and you have France going to the final? I have France. You, as, uh, you, uh, uh, as you pet my beard. How the heck do you think England's going to beat France. On penalty kicks. The English way. <laughs> hey, don't underestimate France and penalty kicks. Don't underestimate France? Yes, like like they had, they beat Portugal in PKs. How'd they do against Switzerland a few years back in PKs? Asking for a friend. Um, it was uh, your man who thinks going to be the man of the match in Bathe Human. Yeah, it was against Jan Sommer, great goalkeeper. England's got some pretty good goalkeeping, too. So I think that'll be what helps them get over the hump. I got England. You got Spain. 
we got two great games coming up in the semifinals. And whoever these four teams makes the final, I'm going to be sitting down and watching. What about you, buddy? Me too. Hope you liked the gray zone today. Euro semifinal final breakdown. Please share, like, and subscribe. <laughs> bye. What was that? That was me saying bye. <laughs>